if your dad didn't smoke them, your granddad certainly did. I mean, it's a name that's been synonymous with pipe smoking in this country for many, many, many years. You can find Dr. Grabo's smoking pipes at drug stores throughout the United States. But what you may not know is since 1943, this signature brand has been made in the North Carolina mountain town of Sparta in Allegheny County. Moved down from Chicago because during the war it was very difficult to get raw materials across the ocean. Mount Laurel, which grows indigenous to this part of the country, was deemed to be the best replacement. They originally just started digging the raw material and getting it ready and making them in Chicago, but they determined that the employees in Northwest North Carolina are very diligent, hardworking, good people. So they moved the entire business here in 1943. For over 70 years, those hardworking people have labored alongside four generations of families, handcrafting pipes, and making the Dr. Grabo brand the number one pipe manufacturer in the world. We've got 32 employees, an average seniority that's almost 30 years, believe it or not. We've got two employees that have worked here over 50 years. Uh, I like to use the saying they've worked here longer than I've lived, and uh, that's something to be proud of. We make about the best pipe in the world. George Miles has been making Dr. Grabo pipes and accessories for 52 years, he started at the plant when he was just 18. I've been here for this company along with most people. The company has been busy. First time I come in here, I wasn't planning on staying about three weeks to go get out because I always worked outside. I just come in, I just enjoyed it, liked it, so still here. <laughs> and others are still here too, working on the 42 step process to the perfect pipe. We're making the pipe out of a root, basically piece of wood that grows underground and every pipe that we make is unique. It's generically called briar wood in the pipe industry, a big burl root that grows under the heather plant in the Mediterranean. And the first step is sorting the wood based on quality and shape. Then workers begin the process of turning this hunk of Mediterranean briar wood into a masterpiece. A lot of skill and craftsmanship involved. Unlike most manufacturing operations, there's not a lot of put raw materials in one side of a machine and bring the finished product out the other. There's a lot of skill and experience. Some of the machines used are original to the 40s and 50s and serve well with drilling, shaping, and finishing each pipe. The quality of each specimen is scrutinized and moves along the chain of work towards the finished product. I like to work. I do not like to sit around. Frank Dixon has been at the plant for 51 years and remembers in the 60s working shoulder to shoulder with hundreds of people striving to meet demand. Probably two, three hundred, and just three or four people on each job. Then you can see how each job, what it needs to be done, how careful it needs to be worked to do to make a good pipe and make it look decent, nice for the market. The heyday certainly was in, in the mid-60s when the Surgeon General came out with a warning against cigarettes and the place exploded. 350 plus employees couldn't make enough pipes. There was no way to make enough pipes to satisfy that demand. Since then, Vice President and Manager Rick Wooten says the demand for smoking pipes has been on a slow decline, but still profitable and looking into the future. And among the employees, there is a pride in producing these pipes and keeping the jobs in North Carolina. It put a lot of people in work when people really needed work years and years ago. It has really kept the people here to make their living. In 2006, New Zealander Jim Burns bought the company and renamed it International Pipes and Accessories. But Dr. Graybo remains the brand and for many, the fact that these pipes are still made in Sparta is special. You know, made in the USA means something, but to those of us that live in North Carolina, it's not just made in the USA. Made in North Carolina means even more. And I think it's, it makes it special to our employees to know that they've been making a product as long as they've been making that product and, and making it well. And for those longtime workers, most days you'll find them deep in production and they all seem to agree. There's no place they'd rather be than making a Dr. Grabo. I wouldn't mind just one of these days if I just died in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not.
<laughs> and Rick would have to carry me out <laughs> and my foreman. <laughs> nah, it is a good place to work. They've been good to me.